Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we've been working with the new Divi 5 recently. It's still in the alpha version, but we're going to show you how to build these awesome little cards with it using nested rows and modules. Just got a simple card here, got three little icons at the top. Got a little image underneath that's going to zoom in when I hover on it. And we got little, two little call to action buttons at the bottom. Very simple example, just gives you an idea of what you can do with nested rows and modules. Really easy, no coding involved in this today, so let's get started. I've got my builder open. I'll close down that page. Let's go down, we'll add a new section, we'll start from scratch. In my section, I'm going to throw in a row with two columns. Okay, in my first column here. I'm going to use a fantastic group module. So I'm going to add the group module. We've got a little gray tab. First thing I want to do is add a little row for my three icons. So I'm going to hit the new row over here. I'm going to select three. And it puts a row of three inside the group there. To demonstrate that a bit better before I put anything in there, let's switch to wireframe view. And you'll see that here's a section we just built. Here's the row with two columns in it. Here's the group. And I've just put a row with a column of three in there. Well, let's add our little icons here. There's an icon module. Let's go ahead and switch back to desktop so you can see what's going on a bit better. That's what it's put in by default. Let's, I think I use a little person. Obviously, my design doesn't mean a whole lot. This is all about the nested rows today. That's great. All I'm going to do design-wise is just pop them in the middle. Perhaps make them a little bit smaller. I'm using the default blue here today. This light one will be nice. And let's make him perhaps 40 pixels tall. When you're happy, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this. Two little squares there to duplicate. Drag one of them across, doesn't matter which one. And again, we'll just change out that person to something else. Now, if you want to, you can link these down below and have these icons link to individual places if you want to. It's another option. If you want to do that, just pop down here and put in the link wherever you want to take them. Now we're going to do that one more time. The reason I'm duplicating because it already has the size for us and the color that we wanted to use. Now we'll go into this icon. Again, it's a person. I think we used that one before. Great. Well, this one, alignment wise, I'm going to align to the left. Middle one, I want to keep that in the middle. Just left click on it, it'll take you straight for it. Middle, perfect. And this one, I'm going to align to the right. Perfect. Great. Well, just so you can see our little group, let's give it a background. A little gray tab for the group. See, it says group up here. Background's always under content. I'll just give it a nice dark color. In fact, let's just make it black. We'll give it a bit of breathing room with a bit of padding. We can do that over in design and spacing. Padding top and bottom. Let's just try 30 pixels. Hit the chain, it'll do bottom too. And everything else, we gave a bit of a curve here. So I'll do that as well and do that underneath in border radius. I think I just gave it 25 pixels. Great. Well, when you're happy, we're going to add a new row. We're going to go into our group here. I'm going to hit the little plus here. Add a new group or row. I want to add a row again. This time we're going to make it a single column because this is where my little image is going to sit. Let's grab a little image module. There we go. We'll throw in one of these crazy cards. I got a little bit of a problem there. I'm sure you figured out what it is. Looks like our little row here is not inside our group. So we want to make sure that this row is inside this group here too. So just grab it by left clicking on it. Pull it up within. You see the little, little green line on the bottom of our group now. If I release my left mouse button, it's pulled that up there for us. Just to double check what's going on, if we look at wireframe mode. I've actually duplicated it there. That's fine. We'll just delete this one down the bottom. And we can see here, here's our group. But both rows are within our group. That's fine. Let's just add another little group. 
This time, I want to use the little black button because it'll add the row within the group itself. So I'm going to left click on the little black button, new row. And here's where I'm going to put my buttons in. So I want two columns in this particular row. I'm going to throw a button in. Whenever you feel like it, just switch back to wireframe view. There's our buttons. I'm going to leave them pretty much on the default. I will style them slightly and I want to move them in on each other. So let's go over to design. We'll go to the button. I'm going to use a custom style. I'm not going to put it in a background. I will give it slightly rounded corners though, not quite as rounded as the bottom, which are 25. I think 15 is what I used on the button. Gives it a bit of a curve there. I'm going to align this button to the right of this column. So it'll be a bit closer to our button that I'm going to put on the other side. And in a moment, I'll show you a little trick for alignment on mobile devices. I want to go back down to my button now. Enter the button text right here. I'm just going to make it white. Perfect. I'm going to capitalize it. And let's take it down a little bit in size. Perhaps from 20 to 16. It may look crazy. I think that's going to be all right. And we'll just shift it down a little bit with a bit of margin on the top there. So if we close up our button text, we can do that easily with spacing. Here's the margin, margin top. Let's try 20 pixels, maybe too much. Okay, well, let's try 15. There, that'll work for me. You can increment up and down with the little arrows if you want to fine tune it there. Now that we got this one, you know what we're going to do. Obviously, you're going to want to put a link in for your button. That's under content here. Link, you can link anywhere you want. Always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, open it in the current tab. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. Great. Well, let's duplicate this. Two little squares again. There's our second button. I'm just doing a left click on it with a little cross. Drag it up here. Now this one, alignment wise, I want it aligned left. So we've got our two little buttons there. Fantastic. So we got a row of three on the top, a row of one in the middle, row of two on the bottom. You can keep going. You can make these as complex as you want. I've kept this fairly simple just for demonstration purposes. And I added a little zoom effect just to this image. Really easy to do. I only want it to happen on hover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this image scale up to maybe twice its size or one and a half times its size. When it does that, it's going to spill out of our little row here and appear too big. To prevent that happening, this is really important. You do this if you're using this zoom, hover zoom effect. Is go into the row that it's sitting in. It's the row with the single column. If we go in there, it should have only one column. Fantastic. Going to go over to advanced and visibility. Here we can see our horizontal and vertical overflow. I'm going to switch both of these to hidden. That way, when we zoom in on that image, it won't spill out of this row. Great, let's do it. Let's go back into our image. Just gonna left click on the image. I'm gonna go over to design, down to transform. First one here is scale, which means grow or shrink. When they're not hovering over, i.e. this setting, I want it to be 100% normal size. When they hover over it, I'm gonna go up here to this little monitor looking icon, left click, go down to where it says hover, and we can change any settings now in this on hover. So when they're hovering over it, I'm going to make it grow a little bit. You can either type in a value, I'm actually just going to pull it up with this. And if you wanted to zoom to a specific area, you could use transform translate to move it as well when they hover on it. I'll just demo that. I don't particularly want to do that, but you could go in there, you can move it left, right, wherever you actually want to zoom into. I'm going to leave it exactly where it was though. Great. Now you're going to see a little bit of overflow on this back end, but hopefully on the front end, we won't see any of that at all. So let's switch it back to desktop. We'll save draft. Let's preview what we've got on the other end. And we'll go on down. There's our little new one again now. Perfect. It's zooming in. It's not spilling out. We've got our little icons here. We've got our little call to action buttons down here. Could have made something more interesting like option one or option two. Obviously these buttons are a little bigger up here. I think I left those at 20. 
And to duplicate this could not be easier. Let's just fix those buttons. Let's put them back to how the other ones were. By just going into one of the buttons. I think all we did was went into the button. Button text. And we left it back on the 20. And now we've done that. We can take that bit of margin off the top, which was in the spacing down below. Now let's right click on the spacing. We'll extend the spacing attributes. to so this row, just to the buttons, design attributes, spacing, fantastic. Extend attributes, perfect. And of course, to duplicate, just duplicate the group, the gray tab there. Drag one of them across, doesn't matter which one you drag across. And then obviously change out anything you want to change out. Links for the button and the image for the car. Now, of course, these will work perfectly well on tablet and mobile. One little adjustment you might want to make there. Here we are on tablet. As you can see, we've got two in a row. They fit. You could take that text size or the button size down slightly on tablet if you wanted to. That's our new ones right there. On mobile, it should shrink down to one. That's our original right there. But it's a bit of a mess. So what I did, just pu purely for mobile, and I'm working on the first one here, just go into this little icon. Sign-wise, just some popping back in the middle. Same for this one. Design alignment. Pop in the middle. We're just on mobile here, so it'll go back the other way on tablet and desktop. Same thing for the button. Design alignment. Pop them in the middle for mobile. And this little button right here. Design alignment. Perfect. So we got that on mobile. On tablet, they should be lined up, lined up in their little rows there. Fantastic. Like I say, you could take that text down a bit on tablet. Desktop, there'll be two as well, just slightly larger. Perfect. Just need to switch out that image. Bingo. And we're good to go. And we'll preview. Here's what I had originally. Here's what we've just built. Really nice little feature. Being able to nest rows within rows is a fantastic thing. And it'll take your design skills to the next level. It really will. No coding involved in this today, as you can see. And just throw in that little zoom effect for fun. So Divi 5 is really coming on now. Like I say, it's still in the alpha state. and We're getting closer and closer. I won't actually be building sites with this until it's on the full re release probably after they update a couple of times to make sure there's no bugs in it that's when i'll update all my clients but i'd certainly practicing building with it i'm certainly loving this new interface and the new features so i hope you enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel don't forget if you have any questions pop them down below the video i'll do my best to answer them for you we'll make a little demo video just like this one once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.